everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I know I said my last video was my last video, but I went to Dollar Tree and I found this adorable, adorable vintage stuff that I wanted to share with you. So this first one, I'm, I'm going to place some Epsom salt inside this dish and then I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the top of the vase and roll it. So this video is going to be all vintage Christmas decor. So I'm just rolling the Epsom salt around the vase um, with the little Mod Podge that I put on it and then I'm going to place the Santa image that I printed on my printer, although my printer is running out of ink so it's not the best quality, but it is still very cute. So I just googled vintage Christmas uh, Santa and this came up with this cute little image and I just printed it out. Now I'm just going to place some Mod Podge in the back of, or in front of the image and then place it inside the candle vase. I'm just smoothing it out inside and then making sure that, you know, it's laying flush. Looks very cute. So now I decided to, because you can see the outline of the image, I'm just going to take some Mod Podge all around the sides and cover that with Epsom salt as well. So this uh, candle vase came out really adorable and very vintage and this is the end result. So I want to make a vintage looking wreath so I took all these products from Dollar Tree um, using the silver garland and this little foam wreath and I'm just gonna wrap with this gr gray silver garland all around the little wreath with a little bit of glue I'm not gonna use glue through the whole thing just to start it So I'm just filling in the spots you could, where you could see the green and just going through it one more time, making it a little thicker and a little prettier. So now I'm taking this Dollar Tree garland. It's a snowflake, it's a wired, and I'm just gonna wrap it around. I love vintage stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I just love it. And this came out really cute. Wait till you see it at the end. I got this from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take them off. Um, they're attached. I'm just going to cut them off and I'm going to glue them all over the wreath. This is the closest I can get to vintage type of bulbs. I mean, I don't have any, but um, I've seen the really old ones in the 50s and 60s. They're beautiful. I just, I don't know where to get them at. I mean, I can try Goodwills, but it's, you know, it's too late right now in the season. It's starting to shape up. Look how cute it's coming out. It's very vintage looking. All Dollar Tree products, it's amazing. So now I'm gonna be using these pearls that I got from Dollar Tree and just gonna glue a few around the wreath in between the bulbs. This really gives it that vintage charm look to it. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree uh, window cling. It looks like a very old snowman which will fit the decor perfectly and I have this little uh, wood piece that I painted previously for uh, I don't know another DIY I never used it so I'm just gonna uh, use the Almer's glue stick and place it on top and then I'm just just trim the edges So now I'm going to place it in the middle of the wreath and um, I put two little metal pieces inside and the foam area so this way it holds it in place. I'm just going to take the hot glue gun and place it down. It came out so cute. Look at it guys. Tell me if you like it. I love this little piece. So vintage looking. 
And this is the end result. It came out so pretty. So this is the one I was talking about. I didn't want to wait till next year to make this DIY. I think it's adorable. It's a Dollar Tree box and it's very vintage looking and I love the look of it. So I cut a piece of foam board um, and, then I and I cut these um, wood pieces I got from Home Depot to hot glue on the foam board to make a frame around the little box, the gift box. I went ahead and painted it white, um, just a real quick coat, so this way it blends. So now I'm just going to glue down the painter sticks on the foam board all around the gift box. I'm leaving the gift box in the middle just way I know that it's going to fit properly. So I'm just double checking it's going to fit in there and then I'm going to finish hot gluing the top part of it. So I'm taking this dollar, not Dollar Tree, Home Depot. I got spackle from Home Depot. So I'm just gonna apply the spackle all over the wood frame um, to give it that really vintage look to it. And it really came out amazing. So I'm gonna do the sides and the top all the way around. So now I'm using a popsicle stick because I need to get in the front of the frame where I'm gonna place the gift box and I don't wanna get it on the gift box. So I'm just lightly coating it because I don't want the wood to be you know, coming through. So my phone died in the middle of this, and um, the last step was I hot glued the box in the middle, and um, so it's not in this footage, but all I did was hot glue it down. And this is how it turned out. Moving on to the next DIY, I took Dollar Tree uh, dusters, they come three in a pack, and I'm going to use that like for snow in the Dollar Tree little shadow boxes. Just going to cut a piece and place them inside both of the shadow boxes with a little bit of glue. I'm going to make like a vintage um, shadow box scenery with the little vintage deer that are so adorable that I got from Target. Um, yeah, Target. I'm placing the Dollar Tree, um, in Dollar Tree tree inside the shadow box and just placing some glue at the bottom. Now I'm taking the little pink vintage deer and I'm gonna place them inside. Look how cute it came out, so adorable. I'm gonna do the same process with this shadow box as well. Place down the little fake snow, hot glue it, this shadow box I used for a previous DIY, that's why there's, looks like um, snow inside. Um, I just left it, it looks cute. I'm gonna place the green, the teal deer in this one. So I placed down the Christmas tree in this shadow box and then I'm gonna close the back up. This one came out cute as well. For the backing I used um, Hobby Lobby cardstock. I already cut it out and put it in on the back and I used like a teal checkered kind of paper. Now I'm placing some uh, fake snow on top using those dusters and um, I think it came out really cute. And here's how they turned out. So this DIY, I'm going to take this um, Dollar Tree book and I want to make it look vintage. So I'm using this vintage looking wrapping paper from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap it with um, some Elmer's glue stick and um, then I'm going to wrap it with some pretty string. Okay, 
quick and easy DIY, real fast, it came out really cute. It ties in very well with the theme that I'm going for, for the vintage look, um, adorable. So I'm using the Elmer's glue stick and I'm just gonna place a little bit in the back. So for the front of the book, I'm going to use a little bit of the glue because um, I want it to have a better, stronger hold. Now I'm going to be using this um, red string that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to create a little bow in front, wrap it around one time. Although the wrapping paper was adorable, I did add two window clings uh, from Dollar Tree to the book in front. You'll see at the end. So I just made a quick and easy shoestring type of a bow. Very simple, very cute. And this is the end results. Next DIY. I want to make a vintage looking tree. So I took the Dollar Tree tree and I grabbed these bulbs from Hobby Lobby on sale, 50% off. And I'm grabbing some of these pipe cleaners and I'm going to cut a little piece, put it through the little bulbs and place them on the tree. Now I'm going to be taking this tinsel and wrapping it around the tree. I do just place it on there lightly and then I do fix it later. I'm just trying to get it on the tree so I could place the bulbs. I was looking for some teal looking bulbs, but I couldn't find any, so I'm using the green and red, and I think it really does look vintage at the end, and it came out very pretty. Now I'm just placing the bulbs all around the tree until it's completely full. Now I'm placing down this tree garland that I got from Dollar Tree. It's very pretty and it, this really does top off this tree. It looks This garland really makes this tree look so full. Amazing. So I'm just adjusting everything, getting everything situated the way I want it. Um, I just love the green and the red and the, on the white tree, it looks so pretty. Now I'm taking this Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm just gonna create a little bow for the top of the tree. Tying it off with a little bit of the jute twine and then I'm gonna place a piece of the ribbon around the front with some glue. Now for the bottom base for the tree, I'm using a quarter panel that I got from uh, Joanne Fabrics. And I'm just gonna place it down at the bottom or wrap it around the tree. And I think this really topped it off. This looks so pretty and this is the end results. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, have a wonderful and safe holiday, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm